Hello, Leo. This is a talk to Miss Aries here, the pretty coach. Um, and this is the pretty preacher as well as Jude coming to do a reading for you guys. I think the, I'm going to do a few readings today. The first one is going to be a general reading. And the next one I do today will be a love reading. Okay, because it is Friday. If I can get this off, I'll be oiling my hands. There we go. <clears throat> this is one of the oils that I make. I want to say this is the quintessential clean. It smells so nice. It smells so nice. All right. Let's hop into this reading. I've already cleansed my own energy and said my prayers. <sighs> and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to let you in on the prayer that I literally prayed. I asked that basically um, the messages that come out now for our sign um, literally changed the, traje the trajectory of my life and the, life of, and the lives of others connected to me for our highest good. Now, of course, I heard be careful what you pray for. But yeah, two cards have shown themselves. <clears throat> I am seeing the five of wands and the king of swords show up here right now. Excuse the lighting, you guys. I don't know what's happening. Um, but it is what it is. Five of wands, king of swords. So I feel like there is some conflict that's surrounding us um these are the main messages that are coming out right now we've got some conflict that's bringing about a change it could have something to do with aries leo sag energy or just actions actions needed to be taken so this conflict is going to cause us to move into action in some way shape or form or somebody that's connected to us the king of swords is aquarian energy um libra gemini so there's some form of communication um some form of strategy or something as well. I do feel like this is a person. I feel like somebody is experiencing this conflict or they're bringing this conflict to us, Leo. Okay. Or we're doing that to this person. <coughs> Whoever this is, excuse me. <coughs> Okay, whoever this King of Swords energy is or whatever this opportunity or issue is, um, I feel like there is a lot of truth either connected or surrounded to this. Okay, a lot of information, a lot of clarity, a lot of insight will be coming in. All right, Spirit, give me one more card. Two of Cups. There is a soulmate connection here that will be starting off. That's what I feel. It will be starting off. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the six of cups, which could talk about a soulmate union or a past life connection or literally someone from our past returning. So an X energy, I'm seeing the <clears throat> nine of wands here. This nine of wands energy is definitely giving me, giving something another shot, giving something another try. And I've got the queen of pentacles showing up in the upright. Hmm. I'm getting autumn energy or something. So <clears throat> something may be happening by the fall. Or something may be clear by the fall. August, September, October energy. Queen of Pentacles energy upright is also like a good manager of a home, a mother figure, a boss figure, okay? Um, a wife to me. Nurturing. Very, very grounded. Very spiritual as well. 
if someone has an apothecary business, I always get this. When I get this, I feel like that business is going to like flourish. <clears throat> but I feel like someone's getting coin here and their coin is going into their business or into their home in some way, shape or form. Somebody's business could deal with homes. Okay. That's just the overall energy. What was at the bottom of the deck? Let me move that on over. Let's start to clarify. I see I'm going to do this reading first and then I'm going to bring the other cards in their Oracle cards. I'm going to do a love reading and then I'll be um, giving some inspirational messages. All right, Spirit, show me what's going on with this five of wands. Give it to us quick. No, Chaser, let this, let this resonate with those that it's meant to. Okay, we got two cards that have come out here, I think. I feel more like it's three, but okay, it's two. Nine of cups here and the 10 of wands. Nine of cups and the 10 of wands. What am I feeling? I kind of feel like someone in, internally is going to be realizing that they're still searching for something. And maybe what they're searching for is within themselves. Um, <clears throat> so someone could be um, kind of fighting for themselves at this point, fighting to um, display self-care, self-love. I also see the Ten of Wands here, which is an, it, it's about something being maybe a burden or tiresome. So maybe this quarreling, these heated debates, these heated discussions, these arguments, um, these blow-ups that someone could be having could lead somebody to realize that they are tired of something and what could be the cure to their being tired of something is them focusing on themselves, what they want, what makes them happy. Or if they don't know what that is, literally taking the plunge to find that out. Taking the plunge is standing out. Three of cups. <clears throat> Three of Cups can deal with reconciliation energy. Let me stop shuffling. Reconciliation energy or getting with your soul tribe, um, connecting with people, places, things, and ideas that are like, that are like, okay? Like you or like the things that you feel that you're searching for. Okay. Is there anything more with this before I move on to the next card, Spirit? I'm seeing Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy here, pretty heavy, and more Aries Leo Sag with the Ten of Wands so far. <clears throat> and of course, the Five of Wands. This is a lot of cards. I have the Fool card. Aries or Sagittarius energy, a new beginning, a fresh start. Ace of Wands. Um, I feel like someone's got this renewed excitement. There's a renewed desire here for someone. <clears throat> I kind of feel like somebody is ready to really give something a go more than maybe they did before. I'm seeing the page of pentacles. So that could be a message, knight of pentacles, a message about a trip or something and the queen of wands. Um, If there's not, somebody could be planning to do something 
solid towards a queen of wands, there's a conversation that will be had about a plan of action. And I feel it is to move towards the queen of wands. That's what I feel. So I'm going to move on from there. Let's see what this king of swords energy is about. What is this king of swords energy about? Give it to us straight, no chaser. Justice, Libra energy, but also karmic energy. Something to do with karma here. Um, remember, I did say that I felt like something, some type of truth was going to be spoken or bare minimum, some type of idea, clarity about something was going to come up for some of us, Leo. Okay. And this could be anywhere in your chart. You could have Libra in your chart somewhere. <clears throat> could be your rising sign or your Mercury. Look at this. We got the magician. The magician. Aries energy. Aries and Libra showing up right there. But the magician is all about um, using what you've got to get what you want. I know that sounds really weird, but that's what manifestation really is. And uh, when I see the magician card, I think about manifestation as well. So yeah, using what you have to get what you want and it all working together for you to yield the results that you were looking for. So that's some good stuff. I also feel like somebody, there's some kind of energy connected to maybe an Aries where truth is going to be made plain. I'm seeing the two of pentacles here showing up. From this truth being revealed, from this vindication, clarification, revelation, someone's going to be like, okay, what now? I feel like there's going to be a decision that needs to be made. But in the meantime, in between time, someone's going to be trying to juggle something. It's going to cause this juggling or balancing act will be causing someone to have some form of anxiety. It may, <clears throat> this is in my present position. So it may already be happening for someone. Leo, either this is you or this is somebody who is considering you. There's a lot of swords here. So I feel like you're on somebody's mind or somebody is on your mind. You guys are, could be on each other's mind. But there's a lot going on in thought. And I feel like communication could be getting ready to come up as well. Last but not least, this two of cups. Give it to us straight, no chaser. Give it to us straight, no chaser. What's going on? Eight of Pentacles. So maybe someone's wanting to put in real solid action, real solid work here, real solid efforts into a soulmate connection. I'm feeling like this is a partnership. If it wasn't a partnership before, I feel like it's going to be a partnership. I've got the temperance card showing up here. Um, patience. <clears throat> I'm hearing, I'm hearing the scriptural verse um, about let patience do its perfect work in you. So I feel like with the temperance card showing up, I feel like there is a, there is about to be an air of perfection and not because both parties are perfect, but because patience has done, patience has performed her perfect work probably in this connection. Keep in mind, this is general, so it could be love or it could be career. So this could be family oriented. This could be you finding something if it's work related, you know, where you really, really feel like you are understood. You feel like you are respected. You feel like you can really do your thing here and be who you've always been because the eight of pentacles is about natural skill sets, natural abilities as well as something that you learn, being trained on something, okay? So it just depends on, you know, how it resonates for each of us, but it is not only being appreciated and respected, but literally being rewarded for what you know, being rewarded. Your natural gifts being appreciated, honored, okay? Um, lauded. Even your reputation preceding you sometimes. Let's get it pu pushing. Popping, pushing. That's what I felt like I heard. 
wanted to say. What is this card, guys? This is the the Knight of Wands. Somebody's either traveling to you, Leo, or you are traveling to someone else. It's going to happen very, very quickly. I forgot to mention that Sagittarius is connected to the sign of temperance. Aries, Leo, Sag, I'm going to go with Sag with the Knight of Wands energy as well. So a lot of Sagittarius energy showing up. I also feel like for somebody, it's like <clears throat> when you start working and you start shining in your element, you and your partner, like if you're already currently with someone, it seems like it's going to just make things flow a little bit easier for you guys. I am seeing the Five of Cups. So it's also possible that somebody is going to experience some form of heartbreak or grief or loss with this Knight of Wands. And the Five of Cups, I meant to say, I think I said Knight of Wands, but it's the Knight of Wands along with the Five of Cups. The Knight of Wands, like I said, that's traveling somewhere to a distance or you know, going back and forth, riding up the road to see someone, whatever. I am seeing the... Wait a minute. So if this is the Nine of Wands, like I think it is, what the heck was this card? It wasn't this one. Hold on, guys. Give me a minute. I'm having to backpedal. Because some other ones had come out, I think, in this particular deck. And I said it was the... Oh, it was the 10. But no, there was another card that I saw. Lord, help me find it. Is it over here in this deck? And I was tripping. Okay, yeah, it was this one. This is the one I'm looking at, and it is the nine of one, so I wasn't wrong. So, remember, this was the overall energy, the bottom of the deck cards, but here it is coming out in the main reading with me clarifying. So, we got the nine of wands again, and I feel like it, it's giving me these vibes of... Someone's going to be heartbroken because... Maybe a, somebody in the connection is going towards or giving some... Okay, I'll put it like this. I'm feeling like... Remember I said somebody was going to be juggling with something? I feel like, Leo, some of y'all may have a choice to make between an ex-lover and your current lover. Okay? Somebody's going to pop back up trying to speak some truth, trying to speak some real-ish. And I believe that some of us, and I, you can say it's not you, and I can say it's not me, but I don't know what's going to, I don't know what it's looking like is, it's possible that some of us may legit entertain the ex. We may, we, we, we may, guys. <clears throat> and that's going to be, that's going to be devastating to the other partner. Something just happened with my computer. I just want to say it's going to be devastating. That's what the five of cups is about. But somebody is going to want to give something another shot, maybe be persevering, or they may be really, really guarded. They may be really, really guarded. Why? Because, hey, this other person that could be trying to come in really quickly or whatever and move stuff along fast, they could have been a person who caused heartbreak to you, Leo, or you did this to them a while ago. And you're like, I don't know. You broke my heart before. I'm not trying to go through that again. So that could be why someone's heavily guarded. Um, But yeah, we got these seven of cups. Somebody's got decisions. You know, someone's been in their head about this, keeping it to themselves, maybe even fantasizing about something. If you haven't been fantasizing about it, you've been like... <clears throat> I get this air of internally keeping options open. At the bottom of the deck, I see the seven of wands, which is defensiveness. Also, maybe someone fighting for what they believe in, standing for what they believe in. We have the strength card. Oh, okay, guys, hold on. I misread this card. It's not the five of cups. It's the four of cups. Please forgive me. So somebody could be feeling 
discontented. They could feel like something is missing. Okay, and that may be the reason that they're still open to exploring somebody. The Five of Cups is here at the bottom of the deck as the last card that I'm going to take. So with this being now the new, the overall energy, I feel like, Leo, you may either break somebody's heart you know, because you may have grown so and your confidence and your strength is going to be up and you're going to have the courage to possibly turn somebody down. And I think that that is going to be heartbreaking for them. It could go either way. You are either going to turn a person who's coming back in down because of the new partnership that you have formed with this person. Mind you, let me be very clear. The Eight of Pentacles also talks about hard work. And I am feeling like some of you guys have worked hard in the new connection. You have really put in a lot of effort there. And I am feeling like some of you guys may choose to stay with your newer partner um, because I put in a lot of work and effort here. They do as well. And this is what I feel is the best choice for me. For others of you, and, 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 and that decision may really be heartbreaking. Absolutely devastating. I'm hearing the phrase, it could deal a devastating blow to the person who's going to come back in. But I'm feeling like that may very well be their karma. That may be their karma, okay? And in others of you, you guys may legit choose to re-explore the past possibility and just the fact that you are exploring it because I feel like your other partner is kind of going to understand, but it's also going to be devastating for them because the, it wasn't the five of cups, but <clears throat> I still feel that energy from that side too. So it's possible that either way this goes, it's going to be devastating for somebody. Okay, but yeah, you're going to be very guarded with this seven of wands. I feel that you are going to be very strong, though. This is not like a fearful guarding. Okay, so with that being said, that's the reading. Um, I'm going to stop here and I'll be back with the love reading in a moment. If this is where you leave me, guys, then awesome sauce, peace, love, light, and darkness, which all work together to bring balance and harmony first within ourselves and then within our world. It's my pleasure. If you want to book your own personal or private reading with me, if this resonated with you, please go do so at prettycoachoracles.com. All right. Thank you. Bye.